Why is there a pencil all the way on my bed? Okay. Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome here to my channel. If you're new, then you should know I am a mama to three little kids, like really little. They're like four, three, and one. They're crazy. They drive me to the brink every single day, but I love them a lot, which is why I choose to be here at home with them and just do all the things with them because I love them, even though they drive me crazy. <laughs> Today I want to share with you a homes some homeschooling tips about how to print off homeschool curriculum for like for cheap basically as most the most affordable ways to do it because the reality is as homeschoolers we do like to print a lot of things off with the internet now there are just so many options for curriculum and just homeschool resources that you can print directly from places on the internet instead of having to order stuff and have it arrive in the mail so i think this video is going to be helpful to you i do have a blog post that goes along with it which i'm going to link down in the description so go check it out but for now let's jump into my tips for printing homeschool resources for cheap there are a few different ways that you can print off things so if you are someone that does not mind printing things at home and just getting the job done there, if you have a binding machine, a laminator, which I have both of those, and they're linked in the blog post that I'm sharing, uh, then this option is going to be ideal for you. And there's two ways to do it. First is with an Epson Ecotec printer. Now, basically, Epson, like, really should just be giving us a discount because I know so many homeschool moms who have gone out and bought this printer because it is incredible. Like, it's ridiculous ridiculously economical. I have printed hundreds and hundreds of full color pages for my kids and my ink has gone down maybe a third, maybe. Like it's barely anything. And even to replace the ink is cheap. Now the one thing is that the printer is more expensive initially. Although I don't think it's that much more expensive than typical printers. But if you compare it to like the ink that you would have to buy for a typical cheap printer, it's much better because a lot of those printers you can buy for cheap, the ink is so expensive to replace and it just does not print very well. This one prints really well. I have the 3750 model and it does duplex printing. It's got a scanner on top um, and it just prints really, really well. I haven't had any issues with it and I've printed one, two, three, four, five, like probably like six big prints books for my son so um it's brilliant I cannot recommend it highly enough and it will save you so much money and it just means that like curriculum that offers pdf you can download it and print it and then you don't have to rebuy the book for your next child you can just print off another one and it costs basically a few dollars as opposed to you know the book plus shipping or whatever and this might not seem like such a big deal for those of you who aren't having to pay a lot of shipping but for those of us outside of the US or international in general it is so expensive to buy things like I think when I was looking at the good and the beautiful like the minimum shipping was like 60 to 80 US dollars which is a lot more in New Zealand dollars I think the exchange rate is like 1.5 something at the moment which means is a lot more and I just could not like I would have done it if I absolutely had to, but I was just so sad that I would have to basically waste that money on shipping instead of using it for something more constructive to our homeschool. So it's a great option for us. We've already recouped the money for sure. And it's great. The other option for printing at home is HP Instant Ink, the program. And I know a lot of homeschool moms use this, where you basically pay a set amount every month. It's like a membership. And you get a certain amount of pages that you can print a month. This can be a very cost-effective way of doing it as well. So that's something to check out. It's not something that's available here in New Zealand, which is why I didn't pursue it. But I know that it's available in a lot of other places. So please go check that out. If the Eco Tank isn't something that you can afford or not something you're interested in, then maybe that HP Instant Ink would be another option for you. And then the next option is to use a place like Lulu Express. I did this for my son's reader from The Good and the Beautiful because I didn't want it spiral bound. I wanted it perfect bound. And what you can do is go on their website and upload the PDF. You do have to split the PDF so that the cover is separate from the inside of the book. Um, and it was a little finicky, but I've worked it out and I uploaded the inside, created a cover to go with it, and then had it printed there. It was very affordable. It was really, really good. And 
I'm very happy with the quality. I chose the higher paper quality and it was still like a really good price. And it did take a good solid month for it to arrive. Like definitely a decent amount of time to arrive, but that's okay. If you know that and you can plan ahead of time, that's totally fine. And they do say if you lose, if the parcel is lost, they will reship another copy to you. So that is reassuring. And that's an option that you can use. It's not as cost effective as printing at home, but you could potentially get better quality if that's something that you're after. And I was willing to pay for it because I knew that the reader would be something that I'd use with all my children. It wasn't like a consumable product. It's just something that they're going to read over and over again. So that is the other option for cheap printing for homeschoolers. And then the final thing I was going to talk about, and it's not something I've personally used. It's not something I have experience with at all. So that's a little disclaimer, but that is Barnes and Noble Press. I've, I'm only mentioning it because I've seen it quite a lot in a couple of homeschooling groups. People have used them and they have found them quite cost effective to use. Specifically uh, in the Gather Round homeschool group on Facebook, a lot of people have been using them to print off their PDFs. So that's another option. I don't know really what the pricing is in comparison to the other options I've listed, but I do know that quite a few moms have used them. So if you're in the States, that's something you can look into. It's not something we have here in New Zealand. In fact, when I went to go look to print my son's math book over here, and obviously I wanted color printing because it's so beautiful. Yeah, it was going to cost over $300 to print the book here. So, no. I think it maybe cost me like $5 if that to print it off at home and bind it and everything. And that's in New Zealand dollars. So it'll be more like three US dollars. So yeah, it, it, of course there's a little more work involved, but I don't mind it that much. I just like leave it to print, forget about it. And then I go and sit down at the dining room table, put something on the iPad for myself to watch in the evening. And I just punch all the holes in it and bind it and we're done. So I find it quite therapeutic to actually sit there and create a book. I think it's quite fun. So. That's my own experience. Those are my tips. I hope you found them helpful. Share with me in the comments below if you have any tips for printing homeschool curriculum for cheap or homeschool resources. I am always open to hearing new tips that will help save money. So I'm sure that will be helpful to others as well. So please share your experiences. But I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread? 